Hand washing is a key aspect of infection prevention and control. Wet hands and apply enough soap to create a lather. Rub the soap into all areas of the hands, thumbs and wrists. Dry your hands thoroughly using paper towels and dispose into a foot operated waste bin. When preparing your equipment, clean a dressing trolley with detergent wipes to provide a clean working surface and attach a disposal bag. Thoroughly clean the sharps tray and sharps bin and assemble all the necessary equipment for venipuncture, checking packaging and expiry dates. On entering the patient zone, decontaminate your hands with hand gel. Introduce yourself to the patient and verify identity. The procedure should be fully explained to the patient. Support the chosen limb on a pillow and ensure there is adequate lighting, ventilation and privacy. Basic personal protective equipment provides a barrier to body fluids and microorganisms and should be readily available in the clinical area. Don a disposable apron and remember to don a pair of well-fitting nitrile gloves for this procedure. Apply a tourniquet to the upper arm. This facilitates vein identification and needle entry. Placement should be approximately 10 cm above the insertion site. If needed to encourage venous filling further, consider asking the patient to clench their hand. With the patient's arm in the down position, observe, select and palpate a suitable vein. Using a chlorhexidine containing alcohol wipe, clean the patient's skin for approximately 30 seconds. Do not repalpate or touch the skin after this. Inspect the device and screw the needle into the holder. Flip the safety shield back and remove the needle shield. With the bevel in the up position, align the needle with the vein. Insert the needle at an angle of 15 to 30 degrees into the vein and hold the device firmly. Introduce the tube into the holder and once the vacuum is exhausted, carefully remove the tube Gently invert to mix with additives with the blood. Subsequent samples may be taken using this technique until the final sample is taken and removed. Release the tourniquet to aid normal blood flow in the arm. Place a swab over the needle site, then activate the safety device before discarding into the sharps box. Apply digital pressure over the puncture site until bleeding has ceased. This will take approximately one minute. The patient may do this, but don't allow them to bend their arm. Once the puncture site is sealed, cover with an adhesive dressing and ensure the patient is comfortable. Dispose of gloves, then apron, in that order, into your waste bag. Decontaminate hands and label the bottles at the patient's bedside with the patient's details checking that they correspond with the patient's notes. Or, if available, use ice to generate barcode labels for each of the blood tubes being used. This is the preferred method. Dispose of all clinical waste as per your hospital protocol and it is best practice to clean all equipment at the end of the procedure. Follow the hospital procedure for collection and transportation of specimens to the laboratory. Record the date, time and site of the venipuncture and any tests undertaken in the patient's notes. Finally, it is crucial to ensure samples reach their destination to be analysed.